now I don't have any choice but to turn on the camera real quick because my computer's fucking up. It's been going to black screen within a few minutes after turning it on, so unfortunately that means I'm kind of cut off from doing Skype and doing all the other things I was doing online as far as getting support. But yeah, I'm able to go ahead and turn the video on here. And I just got the button positioned there to where I can just hit stop when I'm ready. So I guess I can just go ahead and post it over on Ben's computer. But yeah, that sucked. Not not being able to keep in touch with the group. Skype was especially helping me because I could, you know, if I was feeling anxious or depressed, I could just go on there and talk with somebody and that always helped. And now I don't have that. And now is the time when I actually need it the most. Because things have been pretty rough lately. You know, for like the last three months, I was able to just put all of my problems aside and just uh, you know, just kind of figure I'll cross that bridge when I come to it and worry about that stuff later. <laughs> but right now, all I've been focused on 100% is just you know, getting better, getting out of the house. Yep, there it goes, black screen. At least I can't see myself anymore. But anyway, for those three months, I was able to take that big heap of problems and just put it aside and not worry about it and just focus on getting better. And that's what I've done. I've, you know, I've done it a lot better than I thought I could. I was pretty surprised at how well I was able to do that. You know, when I would get anxiety and get that feeling of impending doom, I could just, just uh, assume it was just anxiety and, you know, just put it aside and, and that was working. Now all those problems are coming back and they won't be denied. I've got to do something about them, so I've got to think about them. So now when the impending doom feelings are coming, and they're coming a lot, I am applying them to things. I'm applying them to my real life problems. And so they're just getting bigger. So for the last several days, I'm just kind of going in between, uh, you know, pacing the house and tensing my shoulders up to just being depressed and apathetic and just sleeping a lot. And the, the thing is, is that because of the extra added anxiety of the real life issues, the, my anxiety is too high when I'm trying to do things like exposure and stuff like that. It's like I was going to try and push myself the other day to go in and pay for the gas when we went to the 7-Eleven and the whole way there I was sitting there, you know, trying to get up the guts just to tell Ben, yeah, just give me the money, I'll go ahead and go in and pay and you can pump the gas. By the time we got there, I looked inside, and there was like two people in line, and I just, I just couldn't get the guts up and, and didn't say anything. You know, it's just that extra anxiety makes it more difficult to do those things. You know, when I want to test myself, then I... My anxiety level is already too high to begin with, and it works the other way 
because not being able to get better about this and not being able to have a con you know not being able to get over agoraphobia is making it more difficult to take care of these life problems they just kind of work against each other so that's kind of where I've been at for like this past week and I don't know when it's going to get any better because I still have those problems in life and I still have not found any ways to solve them and I've been so so down that I just don't feel like going and do anything else so yeah it's just kind of spiraling now I did manage to go fishing with Lucas last night I wasn't gonna go because I felt down and I thought I'll just be crappy company anyway but I figured well what the hell you know you can either sit in the house and mope or you can sit on the boat and mope so either way so I went ahead and went. When I got there, when we got to the lake and we was getting the boat in the water, I just just kind of got the sudden urge. I just wanted to kind of be by myself for a bit. And I told him I was just, you know, he could go ahead and take the boat out for a while, and I was just going to go over and walk on the beach for a bit. You know, the lake is right next to Puget Sound. It's just a little short strip of beach there in between the two. So I was just going to go walk up and down the, the beach there by the sound. And so yeah, I started hiking down towards the water. And, and I wasn't really thinking of it as any kind of exposure or anything like that. I just wanted to go walk on the beach. And, but when I was getting towards the beach there, I there was like a group of about, I don't know, like four adults over to the one side and then over to the other side was like about three little kids playing just little kids and I just you know I didn't know which way to walk past it's like I'm gonna have to walk past one of these groups to walk down the beach and I didn't know which one to do and I was kind of freaking out so I just kept walking straight and I walked down to the water and I just kind of stood there and I felt trapped and didn't know which way to go. I wanted to go towards the kids because there was where there was like some rocks and stuff I wanted to climb up. But I figured they were probably going to be more likely to come up and want to talk or say something to me. And they were closer to the water too. But then I thought, no, to hell with that. Just go where you want to go and stop letting this rule your life. So I went and walked past them. Sure enough, you know, little kids go, hi. And I just kind of mumbled hi. And I looked down at the ground and just kind of walked past. And, you know, the other, one, the other little kid said, uh, you know, look out for the water because the tide was coming in. And I just didn't say anything. And I didn't, I didn't even look at him. I just kept walking by. And, I just felt so pathetic after that when, when I walked past and I just I just think god damn am I really that bad you know that even just little kids is going to freak me out like that you know I was already all emotionally fucked up and, you know so I started getting teary eyed and upset about that as I'm walking down the beach and of course that made me feel even more pathetic and, and I went over and walked over on the rocks and started climbing on those and kind of stood out on the tip of this little outcropping of rock out, out in the surf and I was just kind of looking at the scenery and, and I just felt like everybody on the beach was all looking at me and I just felt totally exposed and then I turned around and there was nobody there. The beach was empty. <laughs> it was just all in my head once again. And I just felt, the whole time, I just felt really aware of 
because I mean that's that's probably the first time since I've lived here, which has been about 13 years, that I've been anywhere by myself. That either Ben or Lucas has not been there with me, and I just really felt that exposure that I, you know, because like you know Ben especially is like kind of my shield. You know, it's like. He's real talkative, and like if we would have been walking past those kids, he, you know, and they would have said something to him, he would have gone over there and started talking to him, you know, and, and I just would have been able to stand there kind of behind him and smile and, and not say nothing. And that's what he always does. And I just, you know, that makes it easy for me. I just kind of hide behind that and, and assume everybody's paying attention to him, and I can just kind of be in the background. And, you know, I didn't have that when I was walking down the beach, and I just felt completely exposed. You know, it made me, it, you know, that being the first time out by myself made me realize just how bad off it, it was, you know, just because I had always felt pretty comfortable. I was, you know, I was starting to get comfortable going out in public as long as there was something with me. Or, or as there was someone with me, but, but uh, you know, this time by myself was just totally different. And I just I didn't realize how hard it would be. But, yeah, I, I wish I could get my computer to working again, so I'd be able to talk to people. That would definitely make this a lot easier. time right now. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off and hopefully it worked and I can get it posted.